New Jersey and New York. It's Garden State versus Empire State. Two bordering states in these United States. Uh, yeah, about that border. There were some border disputes between the two. More on that in a bit. It seems like a lot of Americans pick on New Jersey, but New Yorkers are notorious for it. Why does Jersey always get a bad reputation? Why do people talk so much trash on New Jersey? Because it's easy. And, you know, you've seen New York in movies, right? You've seen New Jersey in movies, right? You can't just do anything you want while you're working. Every Hollywood film shot in New York seems to make it seem magical, and every film in New Jersey makes it seem like, meh, this is just real life. But after watching this video, I'm sure you'll understand why many prefer New Jersey over New York. Let's start with what both states have in common. First, both have a shrinking population. Yep, they're losing people. But New York has more than twice the population of New Jersey. Most of the population in both states live in the New York metropolitan area, the biggest metropolitan area in the world. Look at that! Despite not having one city within it, with a population greater than 300,000, New Jersey is the most densely populated of the 50 states. Residents of both states are mostly Christian, but both have sizable minorities who identify as Jewish and Muslim. Both do share quite a bit of history. American Indians have lived in what would become the two states states for thousands of years. At the time of European arrival, Algonquin and Iroquoian speaking tribes dominated what would become New York, while the Lenape dominated what would become New Jersey. In 1609, Henry Hudson explored much of what would later be the two states, and soon the Dutch were establishing trading posts, establishing the colony of New Netherlands. Soon after, the Swedes settled parts of future New Jersey, establishing the colony of New Sweden, which lasted just 17 years before the Dutch, led by Peter Stuyvesant, conquered it and made it part of New Netherland. But in 1664, the English conquered the Dutch and took it over, changing the name to New York and also establishing the colony of New Jersey. In 1673, the Dutch recaptured New York City and renamed it New Orange. One year later, the English got it back. Woo. During the colonial era, both New Jersey and New York attracted immigrants from all over the place and thus became diverse places. And then, one long border dispute. Between 1701 and 1765, the two colonies led skirmishes and raids against each other in what became known as the New York-New Jersey Line War. The king finally settled it on October 7th, 1769. Between 1708 and 1738, New York governors ruled over New Jersey, and this of course made Jersey residents mad. During the American War of Independence, both colonies saw lots of action, but more than a third of all battles fought in the war took place in New York. After the United States became a country, New York City was the capital until 1790. New Jersey was the third state to ratify the U.S. Constitution. New York was the 11th. While both states had banned slavery by the early 1800s, it was a gradual thing, and even as late as the the Civil War, Jersey had a small slave population. Canals in both states drove growth and industry. The Morris Canal in New Jersey, which connected the Delaware River and Hudson River, and the much larger and much more famous Erie Canal, which connected Lake Erie to the Hudson. The Erie Canal was the main reason why New York City became a huge hub, connecting the Midwest and Canada to Atlantic trade routes. After this, New York's population exploded and New Jersey fell behind. Hines, as it was still mostly agrarian. Upstate New York saw a lot of action during the War of 1812, and throughout the 1800s it became a staging area and place to escape for Canadian rebels against Great Britain. Of course, New Jersey became much more industrial after the Civil War, and industry helped both states become two of the richest in the country by the beginning of the 1900s. Through both of the World Wars, both were centers for war production and even upstate New York played a central role. While M. Laser has an excellent video going into New York City's history, one thing that affected the whole state was the fact that New York City, since the 1800s, has been the largest port of entry for immigrants into the United States. On Ellis Island alone, 12 million immigrants went through between 1892 and 1954. Interestingly, Ellis Island was also where there was another border dispute between New York and New Jersey. 
as both claimed it. Only in 1998 did the Supreme Court step in to settle the matter once and for all, giving the original part of the island to New York and the area added by landfill to New Jersey, of course. Today, both states are ethnically diverse compared to most other states due to this history of immigration. While New York City thrives, both New Jersey and New York State are in what's known as the Rust Belt, a region of the country known for declining industry and rundown factories. Both lean to the left politically and reliably have voted for the Democratic Party for the past few decades. Both have rivalries within each state. In New Jersey, it's North Jersey versus South Jersey. In North Jersey, it's busier, more expensive, and more influenced by New York City. South Jersey is more influenced by Philadelphia. It's also a bit more laid back, and the people there are a bit more social with strangers. Oh, and this is very important. In North Jersey, this is called a sub, while in South Jersey, it's called a hoagie. Don't get it wrong. Meanwhile, in New York, it's upstate versus downstate. Although those terms are always relative, in general, upstate New York is more conservative, rural, and laid back, with exceptions, of course. And downstate is all urban, more liberal, wealthier, and of course, busier. I mean, it's basically New York City versus the rest of the state. But that could be two entirely different videos. Back to New York and New Jersey as a whole, dang it. Both have mountains, with the Appalachians going through both. Granted, New York has bigger mountains and much more of them. New York also has the Adirondack Mountains and Catskill Mountains. While it's New York City that seems to be at the root of the differences between the two, it's definitely a lot more than that. For starters, look at this map. New York borders Canada in two spots, for crying out loud. New New Jersey culture is more centered around the Atlantic Ocean, although don't forget about New York's Long Island, both the largest and, uh, longest island in the contiguous United States. With 40% of New York's population, it's also the most populated island in the United States. Just a million more people live in all of New Jersey compared to just Long Island. Anyway, being further north and inland, New York is colder and of course gets more snow. Northern and western New York especially get more snow, yo. They get that lake effect snow due to both Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, two of the Great Lakes. Basically, lake effect snow happens happens when cold, dry air passes over lots of warmer water. And so you end up with cities like Syracuse, New York, averaging around 124 inches of snow each year. That's more than triple what New York City gets each winter. It's no surprise, Syracuse usually wins the Golden Snowball, an award given to the city in upstate New York that gets the most snowfall in a season. New York generally has a humid continental climate, and so does northwestern New Jersey. But the New York City metro area has a humid subtropical climate like most of Jersey. Both the New York City Metro and New Jersey are vulnerable to occasional hurricanes. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy was particularly destructive to both states. New York is about six times bigger than New Jersey. New York has more violent crime than New Jersey. Perhaps contrary to popular belief, New Jersey is one of the safest states in the country. Related to this, New York has a higher poverty rate. It also has a slightly higher unemployment rate. New Jersey has a higher household median income. Overall, New York has a higher cost of living than New Jersey, but that can be misleading because it's all due to New York City being the most expensive city in the country. I mean, clearly, living on the Jersey side of the New York City metro is lots cheaper, but living in Jersey City, New Jersey, is more than 55% more expensive than living in Albany, New York, for example. More New Jersey residents have college degrees. More New York workers are members of a union. In fact, only Hawaii has a higher percentage of workers who are in a union. New York residents are less religious. Major industries in New Jersey include agriculture, hence the Garden State nickname, but also pharmaceuticals, telecommunications, and financial services. Major industries in New York include banking, media and publishing, advertising, and finance. You weren't surprised about New York's major industries, were you? Much of New Jersey just feels like the 
suburbs. Suburbs of either Philadelphia or New York City. But people forget that much of New York State looks like this. Yeah, so while New York City and all of New Jersey are part of the Northeast North Megalopolis, Megalopolis. Mwah, ah, 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 a part of the country that contains more than 17% of its entire population, or some 50 million people on less than 2% of the country's land area, more than 86% of New York State is rural. New Jersey has no sales tax for clothes. Speaking of which, New York has the highest tax burden of any state in the country, but New Jersey is number three. But check it out. New York spends more money on education than any other state. New Jersey also is number three in this category. New York has more toll roads. Ugh. New York has this crazy group of 11 long, narrow lakes going north to south. They look like leeches, so that's why they're called the leech lakes. Just kidding. They're called the Finger Lakes. New Jersey is the only state in the country where you can't pump your own gas. It's literally illegal to do so, and you can be fined hundreds of dollars for trying. This probably won't surprise most of you, but historically, New York has been the first to pass laws that later were passed throughout the rest of the country, like workplace safety laws, seatbelt laws, making cars have license plates, all kinds of stuff. But New Jersey has always been soon to follow, so so sure, today while the New York City skyline casts a shadow over Jersey City and that Philadelphia skyline casts a shadow over Camden, it's often New Jersey that has the last laugh. It's cheaper, safer, and warmer in New Jersey after all. However, the New York-New Jersey rivalry is misleading due to the dominance of New York City over the rest of New York. Yep, it seems that the more stark difference is between upstate New York and downstate New York combined with all of New Jersey. All right, I'm here with Mr. Betts, and he has lived in both New York and New Jersey. So what have you noticed are the biggest differences uh, between the two states? Well, first you have New York, which is a cultural capital. New York has the best bagels and pizza. New York has the best uh, baseball. But New Jersey does have some stuff going for it. Like what? Um, in New Jersey, if you like New York football, you actually like New Jersey football because uh, both the Giants and the Jets, they play in Jersey. And if you like to duel and to shoot Alexander Hamilton, you could do that in Jersey where you couldn't have done that in New York. So there's that. You live in New Jersey currently. I do. So I get to see New York City every day. It's kind of like you don't want to live in the best looking house on the block. You want to live across the street from the best looking house on the block so you can look at the best looking house on the block. Hey, thanks, Mr. Betts. You all know Mr. Betts from Mr. Betts class at this point, right? Also, a shout out to my man Keith Hughes, who is from Buffalo. So which state do you think is better? New York or New Jersey, eh? Let me know in the comments below, all right? Don't forget about it. Also, uh, which state should I compare next, eh? Thanks for watching.